and welcome to another episode of Remember When with Dean Doherty, a podcast where I, Dean Doherty, ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history that had some sort of effect on them. Can I just remind you that the Hindu is still on sale and it will be on sale until the show goes on in September and I'll be banging on about it every week. Um, it's gblproductions.com for tickets. We will be in the Grand Opera House and the Millennium Forum, the Bernavin Theatre, are doing lots of the theatres. Just have a look at that link. It'll be great fun. And Patreon, patreon.com forward slash remember when. You can also sign up there and uh, have lots of extra content. I have a lovely guest today who has travelled all the way up from the south of... Is it what you come from Dublin? Uh, yeah. Well, there you go. From Dublin. <laughs> I should have asked that before we started. <laughs> it's comedian, actress and writer and online sensation, Justine Stafford. Oh, thank you so much for having me. That was a nice introduction. Did you yeah, like that? Yeah, I like you for your research of knowing I came from Dublin. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> First in touch. Well, you might not have... What, what I was asking was, did you come from there today? I did, yes. Well, then that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Mead, though, so I don't... Yes, yeah, I you don't have a Dublin yeah, accent. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. far away is Meath from Dublin? It's only an hour. Right. That's far. It is, no, but like it's, not. it's it's not that far. No. Well, you know, like it's, but it's just bizarre, the difference in accent when you travel an hour. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. Uh, do you know why I always think that's mad? Because if you went to the likes of America, they have like three accents, the yeah. whole place. Yeah, Australia. Australia, one. One, <laughs> one I know. <laughs> it's like, well, well, I think there's two, there's maybe like a culture, there's bound to be a culture, yeah. Australians. Yeah. And then just your average Australians that, you know. And then, but here, you like, go to the next street. Uh, entirely, like 10 minutes yeah. in a car from where I am at home and the accent changes entirely. Yeah. And even when I go home, it comes out thicker. Like, this is me enunciating. You don't want to hear the raw version. Don't enunciate on my behalf, because <laughs> I'm not going to do it for you. Because, <laughs> like, I think about Pierce Brosnan. Like, he's from Meath. He was from Navin. And he was is James he? Bond. Yeah. He doesn't sound it. I would have loved if he'd used his natural, well, it wasn't his natural accent, but I would love if he used a thick me the accent in that film. What accent is he using? Is it a wee bit of a hybrid? I think so now. A wee bit Englishy? Yeah, it's kind of, he's been out of, he's been out in Avon too long. Yeah. So it's not. How long? Since he was like I 18? Think like, yeah. 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 <laughs> he got out good and quick. Yeah. And so, because uh, when he's, at, but in James Bond, he's being English, isn't he? Yeah, because you know right. you can't tell what Liam Neeson's trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> he's freestyling, and we love him for it. Let him go. Yeah, but <laughs> in everything he's in, you're all yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're supposed to be American, yeah. but I'm not sure whether or not you're like to, like you're like, do you know, like you're you're just you just can't do the accent, or you're like fuck it, I'm gonna just chuck in a wee bit of Balamina while I'm here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. he definitely doesn't sound. He sounds Irish and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also not Irish. Yeah. It's the best like place to be. <laughs> yeah, no man's land yeah. type. Well, that's safe, isn't it? Mm. At least no one can target you then. <laughs> um, so then you moved You moved to Dublin then? I did, yeah. For college. because you, you hate having money. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to piss it away. I mean, yeah. it's so dear to live in Dublin at the moment, isn't it? It is, and I live alone, so that was harder. Shit. But I'd had some bizarre experiences with housemates, so I... This is, so this is through choice you don't care what it costs what's happened yeah like um, just uh, bizarre housemates that put me on edge that I thought if I don't leave I might have my own six part series on Netflix of my murder oh which my might... god who has been sniffing your niggers <laughs> who hasn't but I... here me too <laughs> <laughs> I went to uni <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah I thought hey I get Netflix series it might be the only I mean obviously you'd love a Netflix special would you, right? but would you happily <laughs> get murdered if it meant there was a yeah, six part series I'd love you to be a talking head on it being like I, well I you know when yeah, she came yeah, yeah. in I'd... she did warn us <laughs> she talked about the knicker sniffer <laughs> imagine it was called the knicker sniffer <laughs> Like the Tinder swindler, the knicker sniffer. I think that's great. That's a that'd be a great series. <laughs> the knicker sniffer, the death of Justine Stafford, and her career. <laughs> but then, because I even when I was going, like it took me about six months to get a place in Dublin. Going to Vunes, what happened was people knew me from online. Yeah, and like I went to a Vune once, and the guy was like. Look, you haven't gotten the place, but I just want to know. Want you just let to let you know that I've looked you up online, and I really like this. I didn't like this, and I think you could work on this. I'm like, so I don't have a house, and now I'm getting critiqued. What a from day. an estate agent? Yeah, aye, because they're fucking funny, aren't they? And then I I went to another one, and uh, when I came in, he was like, I "Hope you don't mind, but I was going to make us dinner." No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the knicker sniffer. That's the 
first episode. <laughs> yeah. And I look, it was a chili con carne. I had to stay. No, I didn't. <laughs> a free meal's a free meal. But no, no I got he went on TV somewhere and he was like, I'm going to make you dinner. Yeah. And what did you do? I left. <laughs> <laughs> With what? a goodie bag? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could I get that to go? Yeah. But uh, no, I left before again. Was he offering had... to make everyone dinner who came no. in? No. Were you the only person I was the only, yeah. There was no rim, Justin. No, there was no <laughs> There was no <laughs> There was no escape. Yeah. If you just locked the door, that would have been the end of me. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. So tell me about the crazy house housemates that you have had to escape. I'm kind of concerned about talking about them because... Right. They, they, Let's call them all Bob. Okay. And then it's <laughs> just they, like... You know, I've blocked them and they've set up other accounts and now they go by fake aliases to find me. So it's kind of like... Do you know what this less. screams of? Mm. So this so it happened a couple of times, a couple of different people. Mm. Maybe you're the problem. Maybe I am the problem. <laughs> Do you know what I'm, I mean? Yeah, am I the drama? If it keeps happening, me? <laughs> <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> yeah, I'm the common denominator. But like, it was fine. There's only really one main one. But like, because I lived there with a friend. <laughs> He's like the main character. But, um, <laughs> like, I lived there. This would be great, though, because we'll not know who the murderer is <laughs> for ages. And it'll like, we'll, we'll be, like, yeah. off on these different tangents. I'm telling you, if I actually do go, this will be the best research. Like, yeah. this is going to be great for and you. And also, what a great what a great series for hiring lots of different actors. Because it feels like there's a lot of people involved here. Yeah. But, like, me and my friend lived together. And then it was someone we didn't know lived there. And... Stuff got weird. Stuff. Someone you didn't. Oh, so another person lived yeah. with you. So yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I am. Um, I lived with a girl. So it was straight after we did first year of uni together. Lived in halls, right? I was planning on moving to Australia. First place I could think of. After, because I was like, I hate my course. I'm going to leave, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm going to move to Australia. Obviously, didn't because. I haven't got balls. You didn't run from your problems, go you. No, yes, <laughs> I stayed here and Tell faced them. them. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing so well. And uh, she then she then enrolled me in a drama in, in like BMC for like a drama course, mm. f- sort of without like ask me if that's what I wanted to do she was like you're going to stay in Belfast right oh see that's the dream for me I want someone to just decide everything for me oh that's really put her on to me I don't know if it, but like it was sort of like a like a dictator sort of captive oh, sort of way okay <laughs> right she had handcuffs on you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. well I enjoyed that but, but. <laughs> who doesn't and then and then she like got us a house <laughs> oh so we lived in this flat together then but but then I got a boyfriend, and after about six weeks living together, she was not happy because she was like, "Well, your boyfriend's here, quite a lot, a couple of nights a week maybe." And then she was raging, so she moved back to Balmina. Wow. Where Liam Neeson's from? Yes, maybe they're in cahoots. <laughs> <laughs> but then she left, so it was just all, almost like, yeah, like uh, that that shouldn't have been a housemate scenario. You have to really, I think, you have to vet your housemates massively. Yeah, because like, oh, you do. That's what. That's, that's why I. I I couldn't take the risk again. No. Of like, just because I was like, moving back up, because I'd moved home during the pandemic. Yeah. And there's only so much you can stay in your childhood bedroom looking at a poster of Westlife. No fella's going to ride me in here. No. All right. First off, my parents, not going to let a lad in anyway, because as far as they're concerned, Virgin Mary, you know, yeah. till marriage. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. Very Catholic. Into, yeah. Very into the mass. Very into not riding. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I've, you use the term bucking. I love that. That's not something... I bucking. I fucking love that. Bucking is a bucking is a tame way of saying fucking. I yeah, <laughs> you just change one letter. Just change, <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> bucking. You, 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 you probably go back and say that in front of your parents. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. No. No. Yeah. You could be like I, I got uh, you, the buck as well as the ride. So you yeah. be like oh, we got the buck last night. And yeah. they'd be like fair play to you. you when in, when in at the the bingo again. <laughs> <laughs> because more so we'd say like oh he was bucked like as in tired or wrecked. Oh. So if I said that to them, they'd be like, I got the book. They'd be like, oh, you're tired. Go to bed. Yeah, yeah you reckon why I'm tired? I was already in bed. <laughs> um, yeah. But that, do you know what's it's mad? Because even in different parts of the North, there's different words for different things. Like, what's the word for being... What's the oh busted? So if say you're say you've eaten something and you're knackered from eat like you've mm. eaten oh I'm I'm really full up I'm busted. Do you even say that? No. So I said that in front of my so I'm from Derry but I don't. <laughs> We'd live. say we're McFlyed. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I always thought that's so fucking it's rare terrible. and then I got. It. <laughs> um, I remember finishing my Sunday dinner when I went back to Derry one time. 
I said, God, I'm busted. My dad was like, we can give you a wee loan. Because he thought I, he meant, oh, he money. thought I meant money. Like, I'm busted, do you know what I mean? And I was like, that's so rare that I, that, like, I had left Derry only a couple of years and forgotten everything about it and took on a new language. So even down the road, there's yeah. different words for different things. But you, you took the money, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because <laughs> there's, but there's one of phrases like, oh, we had this neighbour who's a character, but things he would say, I was like, I don't think this, I don't think anyone says this, because there was one time there was thunder and lightning, and he was down, he was like, Jesus, I better go home and put the mother in the press. And we're like, what? What? What does that even What does that even mean? Is he physically going to put his mother in the press? I don't know. Did you ever find out? No, but I haven't seen his There's mother. a woman who's been murdered. <laughs> Imagine. But I'd love if, like, people are like, oh, those old Irish phrases, and your man's like, no, I'm being fucking literal. <laughs> yeah. I, I genuinely would tell him put her in the cupboard. <laughs> She's yeah. not allowed out when it's raining. No. I know. And we're just, like, taking them. And we're like, ah, he's a character at this level. <laughs> ah, again. Yeah, our liquor snuffer there. <laughs> Um, so you are now happily living on your own in Dublin because it means less chance of getting murdered. Yeah, Which, but I, funnily enough, most people would think that would mean more chance of getting murdered. Well, here's the thing, because when I moved, I moved to a place in the country for a while on my own, and that was more, I'm going to be murdered, and no one will find my body for three weeks. So that's why I eventually then moved back to the city, because, you know, I'm in apartments mm-hmm. now, so I was like, okay, someone will hear me screaming, surely. Yes. If someone's going Somebody wrong. not finding my body for three weeks sounds like the dream. I'm so yeah. knackered. Yeah. I have a toddler and I'm like, I just, that sounds like peace and quiet. Yeah, <laughs> we <laughs> could. But then, Give me a few weeks before he's come and fucking <laughs> bury me. The only thing is then, it'd probably be a closed coffin, you know? No, I'm getting burnt. I'm getting cremated. Oh, gonna, yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to go. I always wanted to do that if I had a firework first. Because then you'd, <laughs> if they burnt you, you'd go up in a bang. Oh, That's you didn't eat an alive firework you ate <laughs> no, one pre burnt. No, yeah, no. Before it goes off, eat it and then. I don't know if your logic's working. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat like a whole pile of confetti. <laughs> it's just gonna be a party. Yeah, a few sprinklers or sparklers. I, I love the idea of being cremated though. Yeah, no, definitely, I would go that way. I want made into something then and sat on the mantelpiece. Yeah. Like a. Do, do you want, do you want a hand doing this? About Ooh, to tell somebody off. Yeah. And then it would just sit, sit on the mantelpiece and anytime my husband, Sean, is thinking about doing something and he looks over and the hand's going to get her pointing at him, he'd be all, I shouldn't do that. Mm. She would not have liked that. Because <laughs> it, then it's like deciding where do you want your ashes spread or that. That's yeah. a big ordeal. And I, but I think everyone makes a whole bag. It's in the ocean. Yeah. That's where, that's where like sharks that's, are. I'm going to drink that water someday by accident, like, you know, right, swimming out in the sea. Everyone's going to piss in as well. Ma, yeah. Like, because I saw one good lad online before saying if his wife died, she'd be cremated. And he was like, I'm going to put her ashes into a chili so she can tear my arsehole up one last time. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> You know what? It's the creativity for me. I'm That's all brilliant. All for it, yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I'd personally eat someone's ashes, but I like the creativity. No, that would be. Although That's where I draw the, the line. You know the way people <laughs> brush their teeth with, like, um, the charcoal. charcoal. Jesus Christ! I wonder would somebody's ashes clean your yeah. teeth well? That's like something Bear Grylls would try out in the island, wasn't he? So we're gonna drink our piss and then we're all gonna <laughs> we're all gonna brush your teeth with your fucking I don't know juice washes well, ashes. Out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the knicker sniffers probably the guy to talk to about that. He <laughs> yeah. has some experience. He knows say. more. <laughs> um, so tell me about um, doing. So you do obviously loads of online sketches. Mm. That, is that your, your what you spend most of your time doing? Yeah, it's like, uh, really bad tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that you spend most of your time. <laughs> yeah, that and trying not to be murdered. They're my big two at the minute. But it, yeah, like I used to work for a company doing all social media and stuff for them, and I left. Yeah, Joe Dada. Joe Dada, the first See, one. I have done research. Look at you go. Google you while I'm driving on the way down. <laughs> yeah. Quick Wikipedia search. Um, and I left during the pandemic, and I never would have left if the pandemic hadn't happened. You know, like yeah. so I take that as a win, um, because it's so far so good going well. Like, yeah, you know. But I started out doing when I was in Joe. People said to me, "Have you never done stand up?" And uh, I was like, no. So I actually started doing stand up before I did like all the online videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had, when I was like uh, 12, I started doing short films. 
comedy. Yeah, so I'd like... So you'd like film, make them yourself? Yeah, and there was this like film festival still going in Ireland called Fresh Film Festival and it was like for people under 18 to enter and I ended up winning and <gasps> got to represent Ireland in South Korea at a film festival which was the bizarre. Did you go? I did, yeah. You went to South Korea? Yeah. They let so you in? They did. They let you out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly. But it was so funny because you go... No, which one's the bad one? North? North, uh, yeah. You are right in the south. But um, <laughs> it was... <laughs> That's what I was like, I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to... like The other way around when it comes to Ireland. <laughs> but uh, you had a translator as well, like going around, your own personal translator going around with you for the week because they'd like, people from every country there making a film together then and having screenings of films. So what age were you then? 15. And did like a parent come with you? No. We had a chaperone go with us because they had three others from Ireland went to represent as well. But like my film was about a group of old people escaping from an old folks home and they're like shite and all this and I was like, it's coming up in Korean subtitles and you're like, how are they translating any of this? Yeah. And like the audience are like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, this is a hit in Ireland, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. You just... They're like, what's an old people film? Because we don't <laughs> age. We, yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are these old what? people? Great hair. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so did you get old people to act in it? My relatives they were just naturals and it was brilliant my grand aunts grand uncles granddad and granny no yeah that was I think still of all the videos I've done that's probably my proudest just because I was so young and it's like so lovely like that was on a DV camcorder like yeah you know so if you wanted to nearly do a new shot you just have to stop and move and hit record again yeah yeah yeah, now, yeah, I, yeah. I did I did uh, have Windows Movie Maker but yeah. that um, I still use that oh <laughs> I'm I'm impressed on my life that is how I cut things because I have <clears throat> no skill set when it comes to technology and that's the only thing I learned how to do it's like do you know when you learned your best friend's phone number when you were 12 yeah I learned how to use Movie Maker when I was probably 13 and now it's the only that's thing like, I know how to use that's like kind of using paint you know when you draw a load of squares yep, use that too <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm like Photoshop paint yeah, yeah, paint. yeah, yeah. <laughs> same thing but uh, that's really impressive to yeah. me because I it's honestly so embarrassing was <laughs> so close to the edge because of that editing software it really <laughs> wrecked my life that's I'm so you're tough yeah. you're tough but here that's great that you're like grannies and grandas and all but happy to be in that yeah I, I mean, mean happy to be in it questionable forced maybe yeah 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 <laughs> available just what else are you doing I suppose but like if I like if I asked my granddad to be on something like that he would just be like Hey, are you? Stop. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen you since last Christmas. Get out. Yeah. If I asked my grandma, she'd be like, "Why talk when I'm dead?" But uh, yeah, <laughs> but that'd be interesting. But yeah, <laughs> that's different. That's a different travel. <laughs> um. So, do you do you write with anyone like when you're writing sketches and stuff, or is this all? Is it no, all my stuff. Like, and again, like I do stand up in that as well, but I far prefer I think acting and writing stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to get more into comedy writing and do more of that. That's yeah. really want to try and progress more into. Um, but generally, I'm. But that's the thing. I'm starting to lose my mind, especially probably living alone doesn't help. Yeah. Um, I do love working with people, but it's so hard because people are then trying to do their own thing as well. I find it very hard. I find it really difficult writing with other people. Yeah, really, really difficult, and to the point, like to the point where you would fall out. Yeah, I know, and that's what I don't because, like, yeah. these are some of my best friends. I'm like, I can't risk this. No, you've all. I write all, with like, my not. husband. That's that seems nice. I mean, does it? No, it does. He's, I love that. He's my current husband. Is how I'm going to word it because <laughs> mm-hmm. that's because we so we write like a Christmas show together every year and like we kill each other. Like we kill. It's like a, it's an intense period of time and then afterwards we're like it's like when you're hungry. You're like I didn't mean what I said back then. Mm. You're not shy. But did you do videos and stuff together as well? Yes. Yours are I love them. But I think we again kill each other. Mm. Like we, every time we do something together, we be like, we shouldn't. We, we should. What are we, we doing? Should just, we should separate work life and. But here's the thing. Like I don't know. I I'd find it hard being with someone who's not into comedy. I agree. I find that very hard. I agree because I also think it's difficult to be with someone who maybe just doesn't understand. Like I had a boyfriend like years ago. And if I got parts and things, he would think it was just like a narcissistic like need yeah. to be on screen or stage and, and it would almost be like well how long is this going to take and stuff and I'd be like well as long as it fucking keeps me out of the housewife me it's great yeah. do you know what I mean I'd be like I don't understand why like you know so I suppose it's just difficult if you don't live in that world and also you know for a, a long period of time when you're trying to climb that ladder your income is so sporadic mm-hmm. and maybe you do other jobs as well and it's just not appealing to another that's, do you yeah, know what I mean? maybe to somebody if you're with and they have like a full time job like a teacher and you're like well I'm going to go out here and like a TikTok in the backyard and right, seeing five. <laughs> my father 
will probably until his dying day tell me I should be a primary school teacher. Like it's like a reflex at this point, you know, because I'll be like going on about what I do and he'll be like, would he let well, you watch a video and go? You should probably be a primary I'm school. I'm not even joking. Like, I came back, I'd done a job when I was out in New York and they paid for it and I was up in a hotel there and I came home, gone out for a week of filming and stuff and I was coming home that evening and telling them about it and I told them the story and at the very end of the sentence she just goes, would you not do primary school teaching? And, you know, you could do your little videos then in the summer and, like, it is. <laughs> is that seasonal work? <laughs> yeah. In his head, he's like, this is the perfect, best of both worlds. And I know it's coming from a good place. Yeah. But, like, say for Christmas this year, my brother got me a book just called uh, How to Be a Primary School Teacher. Like, it's a oh, running thing. Good. But my dad's, like, looking and going, read that. Yeah. You know, like, he doesn't think it's a joke. Do you know what? My dad is the opposite. Oh, I love that. But, like, I... <laughs> not to make you feel mad. Um, <laughs> no, but... Rub it in. <laughs> Whenever I was in school... I was like, do you know what? I kept, I'd done, I'd done very well in school and I kept being told like you should do like law oh, or something. Do you like, like do something like that? Because <clears throat> all A's, but whatever. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so funny <laughs> and smart? <laughs> We've got it all. And I, uh, I just kept being told by teachers like you should do law. Like like this is what you should do. And then I, and then in my head, I was like, well, that could be like legally blonde. And I genuinely thought I'd be like in court wearing pencil skirts with a dog and I'd be like so fun. And I'd be like, bang, 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 mm. make loads of money. And it would be like this, uh, this like, exciting career. I wouldn't be like representing people who just like no. failed to pay a parking fine. I would be like <laughs> representing like knickers never guys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd be like and this a bit of Luke Wilson on the side. Yes, yes. That, I'll that's, take that. That's my life. <laughs> yeah. And then it was my dad that was like, no, 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 no. That's not what happens when you're a lawyer. You spend a lot of time doing boring shit and you want to be an actress. So my mm-hmm. dad talked me into like going and studying drama. When I was like 17, he was like, no, no. Do what you want to do. Do what's going to make you happy. He wasn't money driven. He wasn't like like I don't know career driven for me anyway you know and he was yeah. like go do what will make you happy look at me now so you had a happy childhood no 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 <laughs> just that day <laughs> just one day <laughs> one more than me god yeah that's I know my dad is coming from a good place though you know yeah. but um, I, I had the exact same thing uh, with like, like you could do medicine and I'm like I faint of blood I don't think that's going to fucking yeah, work yeah, out yeah. too well um, but then it was always teaching primary school teaching I don't know he's obsessed why with why primary school I, I really don't know. Maybe in his head, the kids are easier to deal with. There's no teenagers. Do you think, I think it would be worse to teach primary school than secondary school? I think it would be so much harder. I couldn't do secondary because they would bully me. I You're just right. know they would. Well, I think you'd look like one of the students. <laughs> oh, <well, that> <laughs> she looks so young. <laughs> oh, what a compliment. <laughs> I, uh, no, I couldn't do secondary. They would bully me. I remember we had a teacher who like, had a full-on breakdown. I'm like, that would be me. Because she was being bullied? Like the kids were just a nightmare. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Primary school, I maybe you could do it for like a year, but I know I just get bored. That's the thing. That's why I'm so glad that I went into what I'm doing because I would lose my mind. I would get bored in the same thing every day. Yeah. And again, probably same for you. I could never do teaching now because if they find the oh, shit's any online. video that I've yeah. done, like, yeah, I'm sorry, we can't really have this in our school. We did sketches years ago where my tagline, my character's tagline was, when you're inside me, you're VIP. So I think that eliminates me from being able to teach primary school kids. You could do sex ed, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Respect be, a woman's yeah. vulva when you're inside me, you're VIP. Mm-hmm. That's, it's so funny because the last time I was in Belfast, <laughs> I was actually, last time I was here, I bought a vibrator. Did you? Yeah. And Anne Summers? It was, right? But in my head, I'm I like, have never in my life owned a vibrator. Wow, and I, do, I I have never in my life owned a vibrator, and I think I said to the women, all the women's all, that's mad, and I'm all, is it? <laughs> I didn't think everyone had one. It's so, so from where I'm from, it's so like Catholic guilt is their favorite accessory. Like, so I think growing up, I would never have gone near one, God forbid. <laughs> and the only reason that I ended up getting one was because I saw something online about deals. Deals were selling Pound World. <laughs> Deals Do you have Pound World? We yeah. have like Poundland Land Poundland That's the one Aye. Deals That's what we call it I thought and you meant like you saw And it was like 5 99 for a rumpin' oh. rabbit And <laughs> you were like Well I'll buy two Yeah why not But uh, in Deals They were selling uh, A vibrator for 1 euro And 69 cent That's, that's not hilarious. a coincidence that's, Oh is it not? That, there's no way that's coincidence 69 cent Of course it is They yeah, yeah, know yeah, yeah. the crack And they'll yeah. know mine soon enough Cheeky so. bastards <laughs> Putting one in front of it though Wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. I know, come on, like. She sold it for just 69p. Totally, but I 
so I must have been in college at the time and I saw it in the shop I thought right I have to I have to but like I'd never done anything crazy like this before this is crazy my idea yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a wild gal no I think this is crazy I do <laughs> thank I'm thank you finally <laughs> I someone understands <laughs> <laughs> but I was like I can't buy this on its own as well so I was like right okay I picked up an, <laughs> an air freshener and a can of coke and went to the till and I'm like a car air freshener and a can of coke and a vibrator I love how you were like I gotta get sugared off my tits for the courage to do this and I have to air freshen the car afterwards in case yeah. it stinks in my dick. Like your man is like Jesus you're gonna have the saddest fucking Tuesday afternoon in the car park I'm like yeah I bloody am but the thing like look it obviously it was carcinogenic come on like it's one of those <laughs> you know and there was glitter on it as well and I was like if I fart now it'd look like I did a magic trick I was like this is <laughs> all for it but the thing lasted me about six years Six years of service This thing gave me And look it It got a lot of service For 169 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like You know Lonely afternoons Mornings Cost Tea you. breaks <laughs> Funerals Anytime <laughs> Anytime you run that car <laughs> Yeah <laughs> But So why I had to buy one It broke God love it After six years Just I think You broke it <laughs> God love you I know You got so, too ambitious <laughs> I did. But the thing was I had to get in deals Because I couldn't I could not walk into like Ann Summers or a shop like that. I couldn't be, it couldn't do it. No, I would be the same. The baby Jesus would see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he'd report back. I just knew. So I was like, they, so the thing is, they they discontinued it in deals because clearly they found out it is carcinogenic. So it doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, I was like, yeah, well, yeah. that's my deals option. There's gone. like a whole generation of women who's <laughs> like, fannies have fallen out through their arches yeah. because they've been in there buying the 169 yeah. no vibrator vibrator yeah <laughs> uh, well one step at a time we'll start a vibrator we'll work our way up now I think that's but. the other way around vibrator's definitely more advanced than a dildo really well it's got a battery dildos don't have batteries don't they not I, I'm not in the dildo industry to know like, like I oh I don't know anything <laughs> But, so in the end, I was back <clears throat> and I went to Ann Summers up here because I couldn't do it at home. I was like, I have to go somewhere that no one will potentially know me. You travelled up here just to go. <laughs> I, I was you up here. Ready. I you was here. You seized the opportunity. Yeah. But I thought, you know, Belfast, you know, the, the history of devices. Oh, so yeah. I'll <laughs> get one here. Hopefully it'll blow my mind, you know. But I <laughs> just um, went in and um, I was looking at that. And, like, you have to, you're like afraid to look up and then you're looking around at who's in the shop. And eventually when we came over, she's like, can I help you? I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't deal with this. I'm like, yeah, no, ju- uh, just looking. And um, I picked one off the shelf, panicked, ran at the till. And uh, she's like, we actually wouldn't recommend this model anymore. This is an old style of model. I'm like, this is already difficult. I just need to get out of here. Uh, sorry, what? What could the modifications be? This one twisted. This one was identical to the deals one. All right, that was the other thing that was upsetting me. I was like, "This is the. This is what I know. This what is what I want." Bits do you need to have? Them? So this one was an old twisty one, which you don't recommend. I'm like, "Well, why the fuck are you still selling what it?" Twists for it to turn on, just yeah. It's just a simple on-off job, which is what I want. Because imagine if you're in the house using it and someone comes in unexpectedly, turn off, gone. Whereas right. the one she recommended and the one I fucking bought. I swear it's like Morse code half the time. It goes through 12 buttons of like, <laughs> uh, you know, a normal vibrate. And then it's beep, 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 beep. Like it's stupid. I don't know who's using these sentences. So it's loud. Oh, it's very loud. But there's right. like multiple vibrations. Oh, that are, oh, why would you need all that? And to turn it off, you have to go through all 12. Yes. So again, if someone comes in oh, unexpectedly. Like if you've got like fairy lights, you have to go through all the sentences <laughs> to get it to turn it's off. Exa- it's exactly like fairy yeah. lights. That is the <laughs> comparison. I, and so you can't be using this. Like, you know, if someone comes back home unexpectedly. Do you know who would buy that one with all the sentences? A man. Mm. To use on a woman. Because he would think that's what they. He's watched that episode of Friends where Monica goes through all the numbers and gets to seven. Yeah, and loses And he's her mind. he's going. We'll that they'll we'll work our way up to all these settings, and the girls going stop being fancy. Yeah, no, entirely. We it, don't need you to be fancy. No, truly, I honest, I don't know who is using these settings. I think they've killed and we kill again. I don't know <laughs> who would be into it, but I brought it home, used it, underwhelmed. Okay, but the thing broke after a month, and you're so far away. I'm so, but uh, so. When I bought it, your one was like, here's the receipt. There's a year guarantee. I'm like, I'm sorry, but who is coming back in With here? a crusty iron. With a used, what do you put in? Like a plastic bag. And yeah. like, then they're what, getting the gloves on, taking yeah. a, a prong to take it off. Like a, like a pee something. sample from the doctor's. Like, what exactly? <laughs> I'm like, what? who's bringing this back? I'm like, I can't. I People can't. must do. 
I respect them they know their rights but I would rather but like do you know when you buy underwear and they're like you can't return us if the big plastic butts because off not, yeah. they, should, they should cover it in plastic and be like if you take this plastic <laughs> off we know what's been up your day yeah do not return but then as well I couldn't deal with the question and if I go in and it, she's like oh, what were you doing with it I'm like ah oh, here just the normal stuff yeah <laughs> what was I doing <laughs> with getting it getting that creative oh I was bloody bloody beating eggs yeah. with it we, yeah. my own we were eggs we going 70 miles an hour down the motorway I was hanging out the window <laughs> so he does leg up here and I but uh, so now I'm without again but I just think the comparison is insane like deals 1 euro 69 6 years this thing was 25 euro a month gone that's your fancy marketing for you fuck the man yeah, fuck the, fuck the man. That's what well, it is. The man won't fuck me, and that's why I have to have this. So it's kind of an issue. But how long ago was that? About but three months ago. Did you, did you not bring up? You sure you're not going to bring it back? I can't. I cannot do that. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Let's film it. <laughs> it's like imagine a mother going in with a daughter. Excuse me, my daughter bought. Yeah, this. she bought a dildo, expecting a great night, <laughs> and she's I had just, a shit time. I watched her. No, Imagine though a friend me. like to I can't it's like in the way you know before like those times I need to get the more and after pill I was like I would not have a friend who'd be willing to do that for me to, to, to go, go and, and get, get the more and after pill yeah, no way no I think my friends are too busy getting their own as well mm, yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> they know the face they'd be like you were do you know when you had the chemist top as well and you all been on there yeah exactly <laughs> been to that one yeah. fuck's sake there should really be like a buy five get one free Type scenario, I think. Do you know what it's the funny though is if you go and buy like the morning after pill and they're like, that's such a flashback. It's, a, it's such a teenage thing to do, isn't it? No, I don't know. I mean, I it's such a it's such a young thing to do. You want to buy the morning after pill and someone comes to talk to you very quietly at the end of the oh, counter. Stop. And all, so um, have you had unprotected sex then? Mm. And have you had a think of we put STIs? And are you sure that's what you want to do? And you're like, just fucking give me the pill before my ma walks in. <laughs> Entirely. That, yeah. I, that's the worst part about it. If you could just walk in by it, no problem, I could do it. But it's when they put in, they always bring you into a room. It's yeah. like an interrogation. Yeah. And you're like, look, as you know the answers I'm going to say here, let's just get this over with. Yeah. And there was one time there was a male chemist and like he saw my address because I stupidly gave my actual address. He's like, Jess, you're from that parish? He's uh. like, Parish and he, yeah, he was like, Jesus, you wouldn't be, you know, the football team. And I was like, uh, yeah, he was like, you wouldn't know the O'Reilly's. I'm like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm like, I do you know all, the, I, like, <laughs> the O'Reilly's is why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> all of them, all of them. <laughs> you mean, you mean go back and get more of them? <laughs> I'm gonna need a few. Oh, god, it used to be that you took one, then took one, another one 12 hours later. I wonder, is that still the case? No, it's just one, it's just one. <laughs> you haven't taken it in a while, obviously. Are you <laughs> pregnant with a vibrator? <laughs> <laughs> Can never be too careful. I. It'd be so funny if you went down to Ansel and was like, "This is broken. I've gotten pregnant." <laughs> What's happening? Somebody's sperm was on that. I loved. <clears throat> I loved that. You remember the rumors that go around like there was yeah. sperm on a toilet seat and she got pregnant. Yeah. Oh, my skill was like you <laughs> sniff in the direction of sperm and you'll get pregnant. You even look at it. You come close to somebody who's heard of sperm and you will get mm. pregnant. And also, I think I've said this before in the podcast, but like until I, so my pregnancies are both IVF pregnancies. I, I have a two-year-old and then the, mm. obviously I'm with child now. Mm-hmm. And um, my, I genuinely never knew that you were only able to get pregnant for like 24 hours oh, of the month. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I have the, the calendar. They don't tell you that in school. No, these are the things. It's like multiple Google searches, and then you eventually find out. There's that's yeah. that's ten seconds information. Ten that takes ten seconds to let somebody know, but instead they'd spend years putting the fear of shit on you. Yeah, it's like why would you do that? I went to an all girls Catholic school. What'd you go to? Mixed school, but uh, mixed like religion or people. Uh, mixed people, but it uh, was like mixed uh, people. Uh, before you get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but predominantly Catholic. It would have been yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. but very country. Okay. Incredibly. Like, I remember we didn't have sex ed and then my mother gave me a book called Ready, Steady, Grow. And she was... Was like, it red? Was the book red? No, it was blue. Oh, I had a red one. I'm pretty sure it was called Ready, Steady, Grow. Oh my God. I was had there, the blue edition. Was there, red. Oh, your, yours was the dirty one. Yours was the, yours was the one where they recommended vibrators instead of writing. <laughs> there, was, there was cartoons of sperm like yes! walking into and the there was, there was In mine, there was an outline of a naked person, a naked man, and the next page was a naked woman with all the like sex, sex organs and stuff. Yeah. And fuck, I used to bring it to school every day and we always used to sit around looking at it. Just being like, ah, <laughs> someone's this, naked. It's cartoon. The soft 
softest porn ever you had access <laughs> yeah. to there. But it was, yeah. Well, only one or two people were even just to it. it just like <laughs> <laughs> the teacher, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> so hard to get horny to. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's what we, like I had that and my mother's like, if any questions, let me know. And I never went near her with a question, obviously. She didn't, she didn't give you any information? She just no, gave you the book? just the book. That was it. I ever, this is going to be really intrusive. And, I, and I'm popping up, I'm out. Have you ever walked in on your parents? No. Me I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to tell a story as well. I probably shouldn't. <gasps> Me, all I'll say is no. Definitely haven't. No locks in our doors growing up, so whatever. And definitely not during the day and doing things that's not machinery. But anyway. <laughs> but if you did, what age would you have been if that ever did happen? Oh, if, oh, for talk's sake, <laughs> for writing a short film here, Justine, right? I would say, I don't know, like 12. Oh, no, that's old enough to understand. Definitely oh, old enough to know they no. weren't wrestling. No. <laughs> Nobody even liked WWE in my house. I was like, fucking, I know what's going on here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I can't relive that. It's been too, too far gone. <laughs> but even like my, yeah. You're just dead behind the eyes I, now. I'm about I'm to say something I shouldn't be saying. I'm about to say something I just shouldn't be saying. It's awful. But yeah, that old Catholic girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fucking worst. Um, right. <laughs> so you prefer acting to stand up? <laughs> Here, have you ever had a do a sex scene or anything like that? <laughs> Genuinely? No. I auditioned. Would you do one? Uh, you see, that's my problem. My parents are both alive that I'd be like, oh. <laughs> my <laughs> problem is my parents are both alive. <laughs> like, I know. I mean, as in. It's so annoying. <laughs> I hate that. I fucking hate my parents. <laughs> I know, because the chance of me walking in on them still exists. Yes. You know, it's. Oh. Well, it was Fogger's Day, so I can shag Paul Meskel in a short film. <laughs> No, but that's my feel. Like I'd be like, oh, I don't know how they'd feel about it. Yeah, I'd be very concerned about that's that. That's very good that you care. But like I, I well, did. They didn't go. have to see it. You just don't tell. Or do you think they'd find it? Did did they go looking? Well, oh, I think you're looking. overestimating how high of a popularity <laughs> the show is that you're going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's probably going to be filmed in someone's bedroom. I'll be told when is this airing? Oh yeah, we we'll let you know. We we'll let it's, you know. It's going on the internet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did you say you auditioned <clears throat> for? A different for a thing where it would have been the lead, um, but it would have required a sex scene. And I was, you know, concerned about that, but then I knew who the actor was and I was like, oh yeah. You're like, I've, 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 oh, I think I'd I have done can. that off camera. I, exactly. And I did a thing there the other week actually for a show, but it's, <laughs> I had to do a British accent. Right. Now they didn't even specify. I wish they'd like specified, you know, South London or something. So, I, but like, I, this is too vague. They do it. So, I know. I hate whenever I get they they I get auditions sometimes, and they go, "Can you do an Irish accent?" And I went, "I am doing one." Yeah. And they're like, "No, like an Irish accent." I'm all, "It says one. This is it here. Listen up." Sweet. And Jesus. they they mean they literally always mean Dublin. You're like, oh. "We'll say that." I can't do Dublin. It's too like. You, Neutral or something. I can't. Yeah, do it but they, what they mean is southern. Anyway, so, yeah. they do not mean northern. But anyway, so you were auditioning and you did it. You had a British accent. Yeah, but like it started out posh, and by the end of it, I was Phil Mitchell. Yeah. It was like, yeah. all right. You're like, what was the line? I had to shout, "Get out!" And I could not do that without being like, "Get out!" Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You're like, just don't say it of my pub, and it's fine. <laughs> just don't <laughs> yeah. say it of my pub. Yeah. But um, because I always find like if you have to do something like if you do a Geordie accent within two seconds you're Jamaican. Oh no, exactly. It and just I, it's 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 seamless to end a Jamaican Jamaican accent. If you do Liverpool, sometimes you end up like London as well. Like it, they're they're tricky. Yeah, no, they are, and I get you into my head then, and then I'm like, and I I'm fascinated by it. Like I watch videos of people like even where you use your mouth, what yeah. section you use. I'm like, wow, I wish I could understand that. I'd yeah. love to do like a course or something in it more. But uh, I do the audition, but then. Like, part of the role is that I have a husband, but he's dead. And I saw who I did. my husband is, and I wish he was alive. Oh. Like, I wish there was Is this you saying that, or the, act, or the character? Oh, me saying Oh, it. yeah. I wish he was still alive. Because, like, I'm in the show. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to get cast. But if I was, he'd already been killed, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, please be a flashback of so, us. Oh, is he gorgeous? Yeah, stunning. Do stunning. we know him? No, and I'm kind of afraid to even say, in case by some. I mean, I'm not going to get cast. Don't worry. So this is, is this a movie or TV show? <clears throat> TV. Okay, and it's this is an ongoing process, is it? 
Well, I'm waiting to hear back. But okay. Mm. Yeah. Don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but like the other thing that I did for is the lead, it would have had to have been a Dublin, South Dublin accent. And mm-hmm. I... I was like, well, this is pointless. I can't do that. And that's the one that you would have had out on the sex scene in? Yeah. Yeah. They're always having sex in South Dublin. I have done, yeah. <laughs> is it? I've just heard it's incredibly awkward. It's Oh, it's awkward? What? Why? It's great. Uh, you see... No, it's uh, the worst day of your life. Oh, really? Oh, it's terrible. I've done a couple, but I've done like... So I've done I've done a couple sex scenes, but I've done one that's like an actual sex scene, and then I've done one that's like a funny one. Now, when you say actual sex scene, are you talking... Oh, but which is actually right. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant you know but, uh, <laughs> no do you know where like it's meant to be like these two people are actually having sex and then I've done ones in like a comedy where it's oh, like oh it's they're fun oh, like, I'm not. Do you know, well, not, no one's done that but yeah. <laughs> what show was this <laughs> East Enders no but you know just like one that's like funny like it's in a comedy like there's nobody like yes 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 it's not yes, sensual it's not, yeah 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 or anything yeah, yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean yeah um, okay. both brutal like it's just not I I think I would def I think I think you really have to weigh up what you're going to benefit from the show. Really? I think if you're like getting your baps out, mm. that you have to be like, listen, will these baps get me places or hold me back? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't have any. They're non-existent. So well, I think yeah. they'd have to fix oh. that in post. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Do you mean you mean me as well that I'm pregnant at the moment? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, uh, so they're non-existent. So I'm like, yeah, they're not really going to get me very far anyway. Lesson, there's a niche for everything. <laughs> I remember being in, I used to be very insecure about them growing up. And we did a musical. And I told a friend, a guy friend, that I was insecure about them. And he came to see the musical. And at the end, I was like, what do you think of the show? He was like, he was joking, I think. He was like, uh, your singing was flat, as was your chest. <gasps> I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why did she say in school you like a sunk, you were like a pirate's dream? Because you've got a sunken chest. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Cheeky I wish bastards. I'd heard that, and I wish I'd heard that. No, no, that that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> but this is the thing. Like, do you know this is my definitely my last child. It's my okay. second and my last. Like, I'm done. I'm absolutely like I'm definitely not having any more kids after this. And I was like, genuinely in the past a couple months ago, going, when should I get some shit done? Afterwards, because I'll, I'll no longer be renting out my body. I'll no longer be like needing to be pregnant or needing to do that at yeah. all. Well, I get some shit. My whole life is well, don't you're not getting shit done. Uh, like, you know, be your authentic self. Now I'm all, now that I'm like in the, like the wrong side of 30 and have had two pregnancies, I'm all, maybe I shouldn't be my authentic self. Mm. <laughs> maybe I should get some shit done. I go back and forth on it a lot, but I, I do you know that I couldn't do the upkeep and commitment to things. I'm just like, it's so Yeah, much you need a permanent. Money. I mean, yeah. if you've got your boobs done, I think it's permanent. Yeah, but then it's like, at some point you have to go back in. You know, I don't get, think like, anymore. I think that's if you got your boobs on in the 90s, they'd be like, come back in 10 years or they'll burst and you'll die. Okay. But I think now they're like, listen, they're, they're 25 year guarantee. But you yeah, probably won't but last 25 long. years, but then they could fall out at some point or you hear of terrible things that would definitely happen to me. But imagine then going on it, like <clears throat> in your 60s going... I need these redone. <laughs> exactly. That's what I couldn't deal with that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It would just be too embarrassing. Pure like, wrinkly with great tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I can't even with my dentist because uh, I no, fancy I'm... him as well. He's a beautiful man. It just makes it so awkward. And he's right in your face. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And then like I'm thinking of other things and he's there. There's a bit of bleeding now. I don't know if we can do it. I'm like, we can just put a towel down. I'm, I'm pretty much you are. But yeah, and then he's like, oh. He's like, you've you got gum disease and you're like, stop. <laughs> stop it. He's like, I think you need a fill in. I'm like, zip. But yeah. But it's, it's hard. But like, I, that's why I can't even. That's what you wish. Never <laughs> is. But uh, I, that's why I couldn't. Even Botox, you have to keep. You have to keep doing it. Who has the money for that? It's, or even just like, yeah, the time. I mean, I think it takes about five minutes, but I, just don't, have, I don't have that time. <laughs> Who has that time? Even, I've never dyed my hair because I just couldn't deal with the upkeep. So you're living your life in a very cautious place <laughs> where you're like, you're too, I don't want to start anything in case I have to keep doing it. Yeah, I, I won't get the tattoo because I think it identifies me. Like as in, imagine, God forbid I have to commit a crime sometime and they have CCT footage. They'd be like, we're looking for the girl with a knicker sniffer tattoo. Yeah, but you do know there's <laughs> DNA. Yeah, but... <laughs> but that'd be the first <laughs> <laughs> like I said even I got concerned about selling merch you know, do you sell merch? no don't have any merch nobody wants to buy it anyway but but if they <laughs> did right I get concerned about that because imagine if they commit a crime right and they're caught on CCTV wearing your face and then people instantly put two and two together being like well the kind of person that commits a heinous crime is a fan 
Aye, but that's like, oh, you think it's a fan? I thought you meant they would think it was you. Because no. that'd be like me going, like me bringing my like Stella McCartney handbag mm-hmm. to a murder scene and then leaving it there and then being like, <laughs> no. it was Stella. She left her bag. <laughs> Everyone, oh, all units are looking for Stella. <laughs> at some point in the very, very distant history, that was definitely as far as they <laughs> went with investigating and that's how someone was But it's was funny the way, like, a criminal. It, you could have, <clears throat> like if you come out a crime and there's like loads of DNA and it doesn't match, but they're like, oh, but she's got that tattoo of a unicorn on her arm, so we're going to get her yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's where my I'm just always afraid of everything. I have two tattoos. I got one when I was about 15, mm-hmm. and I was on holidays with my parents, and I said to my dad, if you don't let me get a tattoo, I'm going to go home and get a fake ID and get done some backhole shithole. Mm-hmm. So then I, he was like, okay. So then he took me and he chose it, and it's terrible. And then I got the other one done with my best friend. We got matching tattoos when we were 18 and just moved to Belfast and went to uni. Oh. No tacky as fuck. They're Chinese symbols that Are mean you friendship. Still? Yes, we're still so friends. friends few. No, oh fell out for four years oh, in the middle fuck. of it all. I know. That's the, that's, it's the commitment with a bloody... I mean, I can't commit to a fella, but a tattoo is even worse. Because yeah. it's... Things change. Yeah, or oh, things change. Things, <laughs> things really change. And then like you, if you want to get lasered off, that's fucking sore. Uh, and I had a friend do that. And I'm sorry, you can still make the fucking outline of it. Ah, uh, you can still, you need a cover up. So my husband had to get a tattoo covered up because he had somebody's name tattooed oh. on him. I know. And he had to go get a uh, cover up. And he, he got his three sons, I have three stepsons, so he got his three stepsons initials as a cover up. And we were in Spain when he got it done. And we walked down to the tattoo place and the guy was like, where is your, what are you, like, where's your printout of what you want? And he was like, I want three letters. Do you know the, do you know the alphabet? Yeah. Do you have three letters in a row? I'll just, we'll cover that up. And he was like, I bought, where's, where's your artwork? And he was like, you're the fucking artist. Ah, Jesus. So this guy freehand drew in this page the initials of Sean's three sons, sort of all interlinked, right? And I swear to God, my two-year-old could draw. They, they're not uh, even. The lines aren't the same thickness. The, it goes like big on one side. Like James is his eldest son, so the J starts really fat on one side and it gets really skinny. It's like somebody just somebody was absolutely off their yeah. tits. And then also got a toddler mm. to do it. <laughs> it was so, so bad. And it's like the worst looking thing. He now has to get a cover up for his oh, cover up. <laughs> <laughs> God love him. It's so bad. Oh, Jesus. Like, do you know it would look nice? Although I don't think I'd want my name tat. I don't think I'd want someone to tattoo their na- my name on Again, them. Again, I'd be afraid if they committed a crime. Just because I'd be like, God, I mean, what kind of a person murders someone? Someone who likes her. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then what do you think? They're going to come to you and go stop influencing the murders? Maybe. That's where my mind, I just yeah. expect the worst at all times. That is what I have to be prepared for. Imagine they just let the murderer away and came straight to you and were like, <laughs> yeah. stop making these people raging. I mean, my luck, genuinely, they would lock me up. So I'd be the one that did it. Yeah. But then you'd still be living on your, oh, you'd have to live with someone. You'd have to share a cell. Yeah. Back to uh, niggers never. <laughs> I wouldn't last in prison, I don't think. I wouldn't be tired. I don't think many people can last in prison. No. Would you be the bitch or the ringleader? Oh, I'd be a bitch. I, I was going to say, I didn't even need to ask that question. You would definitely be the bitch. <laughs> yeah, come on. I think I would be the ringleaders. Do you know, like, quirky best mate that has to go do all the shit? Mm-hmm. I would think I'm in charge, but I'm actually just the, I'm the go-getter. Yeah, you're a liquor. I have to go, yeah. go collect the, the, what's the, what are the, what's the word they use? Cons, consummary? What's the? Commissary. Commissary. <laughs> So basically, they use ramen. This I've watched too much TV. <laughs> basically, from what I have learned in prisons, they they use noodles for money. <laughs> basically, if you want something, you give somebody some noodles. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uncooked, so they can Prison cook them at their own convenience. Fun. <laughs> It's meant to be you think, oh, it's going to be filled with big bad guys. And everyone's like, you want, you want some noodles? <laughs> Give me your t-shirt. That's You're like, emotional about the noodles right now. <laughs> I just dip, and the flavors have different currencies as well. Oh shit! I mean, chicken's top of the range. But clearly, it's worth the most. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You could, you could get a blowjob for a packet of chicken noodles in a women's prison. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, that's how that's how valuable they are. <laughs> these noodles. <laughs> um, yeah, I would be the person that has to just go and 
collect the money and mm-hmm. bring it back. But then you and her'd get your little matching tattoo, best friends in prison. Yeah, it'd be cute. It'd be tacky. They'd make a movie. <laughs> They'd make the movie. You'd be dead day one. Oh, I'd be long gone. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I'd be straight yeah. out. No, I You'd last. get shanked to fuck. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? It'd be me that had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'm really sorry, but she said I have to, have to give you a good shanking. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. Look, is there a... Have where some where middles before there? you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Justine, what is your remember when moment for today's okay, episode? Okay, so this is one... I don't know if you're going to remember this, but this was big for me. I won't, I'm then. drunk right now. <laughs> okay. Um, in, tw- in 2010, JLS. Do you know the band JLS? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah we get yeah. them up here too. Yeah. <laughs> do, do we, does anyone get them anymore? No, Who knows? no, no. But, uh, Although I follow one of them online, him and his wife dance all the time on TikTok. But anyway. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You'd love tattoos. to see them. <laughs> uh, in 2010, they sponsored with Jurex and released JLS condoms. Oh my god, I remember that! Yeah. Those are the guys who d- did plenty of riding, so they would be the great, the great, great advertisers yeah, they for. Had blue, red, yellow, and purple, was it? There's, and uh, it was, they'd use their JLS to say, just love safe. That was the. Snuff. I mean. Snuff? Snore. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign title Just Love Safe. Yeah, just love safe. Just love the sniff. Just love the sniff. Um so what did the different colours mean? Was it like one ribbed for your pleasure? Oh, well one? no, there's just you bought their also, face. That's not a thing. You no. The biggest lie I've ever heard. Yeah. Ripped for no one's pleasure. Yeah. Jesus yeah. It's Christ. Like, well, look, I've done you a favour here. We ribbed one. All right. Absolutely anyway. nothing. Get out of my face. No, it's like we're in a bloody oven glove. Yeah. There's no difference at all. No. But no, you're just buying a packet of Johnny's with their face on it. And I don't know at what point they were in their career where their manager brought them in and was like, guys, something big. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, oh, what, are we doing Wembley? You know, like, your face on, <laughs> poster for the O2, what is it? Jurex. Condoms. Condoms. But like... People want to look at your face and avoid getting pregnant. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. you're going to stop. That's a brave guy, though, in the bedroom who gets out a picture of JLS right? just as he's about to write someone to remind the woman that he ain't JLS. But more so, I'm like, if you're the kind of guy who's using a JLS Johnny, I don't think we need a Johnny because I don't think I'm going to ride JLS. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. This is, this is over. Yeah, he's yeah. like, look, yeah. I got an Aston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, my. Do you know what's like? Do you ever see when kids collect like football <laughs> cards or Pokemon mm. and they're like ripping up in the packet to see, oh, look, I got Ronaldo. <laughs> and got, he's like, whoa, I got an Aston. <laughs> Oh, my devil wank. Like, the horse wank the thing. Because no one's going to be riding him. He's only going to be wanking. Because, yeah. on, like, I don't know how they thought putting their face to that. I get look at, and it was with a charity, so you can't be too angry about them. But it's like, who would want to have their face on a Johnny? Like, Name your price. You'd need a good slogan. Right, like as not you even could so, get. so it doesn't even matter about the money, Justine, as long as the slogan's right. <laughs> no, money's important, but if there's no slogan, no deal. Like as in, you know, you could have Mr. Tato say, and then I could be a cheese and onion flavored one. Jesus, <laughs> dick cheese and onion, maybe even. I don't know why <laughs> my dick can't taste. <laughs> so I didn't go near my mind. <laughs> you know, Paddy Losty. Why would people? You could Are have people doing blowjobs with condoms on. Uh, the first time I ever gave. A blowjob I You insisted I, he wore a condom? Because I was that uneducated. I thought you could get pregnant. <gasps> yeah. You shouldn't be giving blowjobs at twelve. No, no, I look at no <laughs> in six classes. <laughs> I mean I'm so out of the lip. Yeah. But th- th- so I don't know why you would put your face to that. Because even I was on holidays there earlier in the year and you can get like the shops that sell condoms with different football crests on it. Like if you're like a wee Celtic condom, uh, yeah, Everton, you know. Fuck me, they make is... condoms sectarian now. They'll do anything. They will, you know. But like, uh, you know, Everton getting it like that's the only way he's staying up this season. <laughs> you know, their defense is poor. It's all those football jokes. Do you know what? But I wouldn't trust those condoms. They'd probably let some slip through the net. Hey! Oh! But like, there was one though, and I was like, "Are you fucking like?" I don't know which is worse. 
Okay, there was an anon- anonymous condom. You know the lads with the masks? I thought you meant. She was like, we're not telling you who it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anon, those ones, I, those yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a condom. That is not someone who's ever going to need no. to use that. And that would be like, uh, oh, will it work? Will it not? We'll soon find That's out. That's exactly you know, it. Yeah. I'm like, the mystery. I'm like, I don't need mystery. I need guarantee here. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah. They're, they're never, they're not 100% though. No. They're 99.9. 99. 99. <laughs> yeah. That's what they keep saying. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, people, I just like, but I don't believe that. I don't believe people go, we were wearing a condom and I was on the pill and I'm like, shut up, you trapped him. You it's liar. It's the old way. Don't lie. Oldest trick You could only get pregnant in, in 24 hours of the month. You were on the pill and he wore a condom and you still got pregnant. Mm. Mm. Sounds mm. like he was cheating on you you didn't want him to go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad for the child in that scenario. That's what it, uh, Yeah. Mm. Um, but what, then, what would what would be like a big collaboration deal that you would fucking, like, you would be, oh shit, I don't want to do that, like condoms, but I'm going to have to because they're paying you a million pounds. Well, see, I turned down some deals before that were big money because have I, you? yeah. Because you just don't believe in them? Yeah. Those have guys, you ever turned down or like? I turned down, fuck all, Justin. Mm. I'll take no, Oh no. no, I regret, in hindsight I regret, I was like, I needed that money. It's not yeah. as if I'm here able to pick and choose, I'm really not. And yeah. I was like still like, no, I don't No, I have, de- I, I've turned down rules and things mm. that I think are beneath me oh, and by that I mean <laughs> you know <laughs> um, no just like you know you're sort of like at a, at a certain level you're like listen I don't, I don't want to do mm. s- specific jobs so I, I definitely have although at the minute I'm like being considered for a show that's looking likely but it's literally shooting like a week after I give birth so okay. and actually giving birth isn't like a guaranteed week either so I could give birth yeah, during it. Yeah. So it's sort of this this conversation we're having and it's mad because one is a woman in comedy and two is just like a person who's self-employed. You worry about like taking yourself oh, out of yeah. the game and so, oh, like yeah. there's going to be some fun train taking off and you're not going to be on it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I, I'm like, oh God, can I, should I take time off? And like, of course you need to take time off if you have a baby. Oh, I get that fully though. But like when you're being like, offered work, you're like, ah, oh, but... But I should just do that. Is this the thing now that's going to lead to the next thing? If I don't do this, am I going to be forgotten about? And everyone else will move forward. And yeah. yeah. And it's a it tricky place ends. to be, you know. But yeah. I think I think I learned from with winter afterwards. I like like went back to work straight away. And this time, like, do you know what? I, like, I'm going like, to try and give myself a month. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Most people get like, full, like paternity leave. Like a full... No. I know. That doesn't... That's the guy. Eternity, yeah. Sniff. <laughs> who's, the, who's the guy? Oh my God. I'm literally due any second, by the way, which is why I cannot speak properly. Like, any second. Like, I hope I get... The worst thing that could happen to me today is I, if I give birth, because my house is like a fucking wow. building site with like, I'm getting my kitchen renovated and floors put in mm. and doors and a new bathroom and I told you about my sink that's yeah. too big for Look the Look, if you give birth, you have a big sink. <laughs> to, to go give birth into, in. Yeah, lovely. Wash the chest. Love that for you. <laughs> Um, listen, is there anything you'd like to plug before we before we go uh, off? Uh, well, I'm doing a show this Friday, but that won't be out in time when it's sold out. Uh, so where's your show good. this Friday? Well, we're doing a Eurovision piss take. It's in uh, Liberty Hall in Dublin, where we all have to like write a, d- a song and perform it on the night. Oh my god, as a different that's country. Class. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We did who's it last year. I'm Spain this year. So I presume you're singing in a Spanish accent. Uh, well, the character will be like, yeah, I'll talk at the start and be like, this song is about whatever. Yeah, and that'll be Spanish. Great yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seamless. But, uh, You've just picked the part. <laughs> um, but, uh, that's a great idea. Yeah, we did it last year and it was a big hit. So we're is back. it all comedians? Yeah. And who else is in it with you? Uh, they'd be like Michael Fry, uh, yeah. Shane Danburn, Tony Cantwell, Hannah Mamelis. I'm going to forget people now. I know, I'm, not, I'm sitting here going, name them all. Yeah, I know. I'm like, name oh all. What many countries Kevin are in your vision? and Ali Fox. That sounds like fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What is your online handles? Your Instagram? Uh, I have Justine Stafford. Uh, just that on Twitter. And then it's Justine Stafford underscore on Instagram and Justine Stafford comedy on TikTok. They'll find you. They'll find yeah. you. Um, thank you so much for coming on and for travelling up. It's been an thank absolute you pleasure. So much for having me. Killian Sunderman and Sean Burke are also in it. I like. I'm gonna. <laughs> jo- you know, like I can. Hang on. Is that this, everyone now? I think that's everyone. You'll get. You'll be. You'll be on the train mm. the way home and have to come back up and go. Uh, Emma Doran. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you for having me. 